February uh, 21st, 2022. Now, I'm not a big fashionista, or I haven't been since whatever, when used to dress me up and put braid, two, French braid, one here, one here, or sometimes one down the center. The traditional fashion that was approved by whatever. Um, so, um, I'm not up to date with the fashion world and that artists and the FIT of Fashion Institute of Technology or whatever they're doing with CAD, scary technology. I really don't know how the outbreak got this bad in the artist colony of, wait, the children are doing what? Um... And then they involve the overeducated. How? All oh, right. So now on Drew Barrymore, um, there she's talking about this fashion that came out that Martha Stewart's wearing. It's a pair of pants with shoes attached. I'm like, what? I'm like, how does that even work? So they have a photo, and then I'm saying to Lynn, I'm like. Well, that would never become popular because how do you wash them after you wear them? And then I realized, like, she's in this, like, class of humans that wear things once and throw them away. Patty? Yes. Okay, oh great. great. All right, yes, let's hear it. All right, Patty, listen to this. Were you two, question, were you two aware that you can now wear a pair of pants that seamlessly turn into a shoe? What? Yeah, well, now you can. Just ask Martha Stewart. In Style Reports, Martha stepped out in these brown leather pants that are part legging, part espadrille. We could call them a lespadrille, if you will. And this comes on the heels of the jute, which is, of course, the jean boot combo worn by Julia Fox. Now, okay, are you in or are you out? Only thing I care about are the two words that they used. Um, the rest is really irrelevant. So, now, um, this word jute, J-U-T-E, I've heard this once before in the human common area that I was held within. Um, they have something called a jute box, J-U-T-E-B-O-X, where they play records. They play music, melody, melodic records. They were vinyl, V-I-N-Y-L. I don't know. I think I've heard them referred to as LPs before. They were in a 70s. They, were they? There was some numerical, there was some number that was important. I forget. Hang on, let's ask Lynn if she knows. There were 45s. I think those were the smaller ones. Hey, Lynn. Yeah. On the records, the vinyl records, what were the big ones called? LPs. LPs, and the small ones were 45s? 45s. Thank you. 78 LP. My year, what can I tell you? Um, my numbers, and then the other ones were four or five, um, for the smaller one, um, but anyway, so they used to have that inside, like, this machine where you'd put coin into the machine, and then you pick the music, like a snack machine with buttons, um, and then it would take the record, and then it would magically play it. I'm sure somewhere in the, where, whatever year it came out, I would say Century 19, I don't know when they switched over from the Vitrola. My grandfather had a Vitrola, but uh, in like the arcade of the 80s, previous to that, um... 
but that's the only time I've ever heard that word used before today when they made it into a legging and a shoe combined. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kateruza, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken.